So fellow Guyanese, I know a lot of you might feel offended because your lack of intelligent wisdom and understanding. But I want you to understand clearly, I have nothing against you per se. I'm just fed up about the wrong things that is happening in Georgetown, Guyana between the two major races. And when a man becomes the leader of a country and laws to be made, it must not be no discrimination with the law. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. Now, the judge who oversees the case got a right to pardon you, give you a second chance, and give you a warning, which any judge in a righteous way will do. But when a dollar bill gets involved and a position, it's like killing Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And yet you all go every Friday being a Muslim and every day and pray to your Allah. And yet you do the same thing. And you Allah, Allah, Ho Akbar. And that death in pain. Then the Hindu go to his church and sing to me, Hamata Pita, to me, Ho. You owe somebody too. And that death in pain. And the Christian go and talk about Jesus and the resurrection and 30 pieces of silver that they condemn for killing an innocent man, judges in Guyana court, magistrate, prosecutor, police, and criminals are taking less than 30 pieces of silver for locking up innocent people and killing innocent people. But yet you are calling upon God and Jesus. All of you are fucking hypocrites, man. I said the four-letter word. To me, it's not a divulgative word, nor a curse. It's a matter of explanation. If I curse you, then it's better you drink poison because a lot of you judges, a lot of you politicians will run mad before you're dead. You will play with your shit. You will look at your children and fall before you and run crazy. That's the curse I lay upon all of you that fucking up the life of innocent people. And all the other criminals you're losing from the jail to kill people. Let it be known to them. When you all get arrested, you're going to call the name. And whatever name you call, that whole family going to answer the charge for that one innocent man or woman you kill. Because you're ignorant. Guyana belongs to all of us, man. Or it is for none of us. Respect the Amerindian. Just so you all know Jesus come from Israel, no, the Bokman belong to Guyana. Joshua, why you know that are your ancestor from Africa and India? Learn to understand that you are in Guyana. When I was fighting for freedom, I was fighting to go back. Ask Marcus Gaffey. You were fighting to go back to Africa, but yet many black people didn't go with it. You cursing white people, you are still very white people, and killing to go to white man country. Go and check Africa. You got a lot of humble black people there, decent, honest. And progressive is corrupt leader like y'all holding them back. Go to India. There is the most corrupt fucking place on the face of the earth. A snake run from you coolie people. Because you got them dancing in the street, Ghana, Delhi and Calcutta. Trust me. You and y'all are the world's greatest fucking beggar. I got it in my blood, so I'm, I hold the responsibility to speak on behalf. And want to read you coolie people. Are you see too much? Are you hear too much? And I always get involved with the things I don't understand. Change for God's sake, man. Let your young generation stand firm. Y'all came from some good quality, with good philosophy, but the pandits and the imam and the priests in Ayukuni religion destroy your capability. Come out from it. Love the country you're born and grown. Forget where your ancestor come from. If the Bible is true and the Quran is true, then all of we come from God. But none of we put in a step to go up there, but we're fighting one another for property, richness, and money. So I call upon David Granger, the Attorney General, the Prime Minister, the Home Affairs Minister, and all the ministers who touch this Quran or the Bible, swear to do their work, start to do it now. And God will be on your side. And I condemn again any man, woman who plan to kill any president or prime minister of any country, not only Guyana. But when people are upset and mad because you deny them justice, they have a right man. Kofi had a right to fight for his freedom. Nelson Mandela had a right to fight for his own. Gandhi had a right to fight for his own. And let me tell you in the name of Gandhi. Gandhi was a deportee. That was deported of South Africa and went back to India on a steamboat. And when he arrived, 
He kissed the ground because I was a fuller man, a Muslim named Roshan Chandra Bass was fighting the British. And when the stupid Kodi man kneeled down and called upon unity, that was what the European was waiting for. So now they get 20 or 50 more years to thief a little bit more from y'all. Because they didn't with the resistance of a Muslim named Roshan Chandra Bass. Alright? So y'all respect your culture and stop fighting, but that's not the way the white man educate all of you. He teach you all decency, manly, and many of you are pilots, scientists, doctors, lawyers. You couldn't do that in India, nor in Africa, okay? So wake the fuck up, you fools. Stop talking race and nationality and talk about the future and prosperity. Have a good night.